Hey, God bless. My name is Junie Lopez, and this is Unified with Christ. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we have an amazing special guest tonight. Um, his name is Ian Holmes. Uh, we had the honor and privilege of having Kimberly Holmes the week prior, and then last week we had uh, Carrie Holmes. Uh, we are just beyond blessed uh, to have the Holmes family here celebrating the month of June. <laughs> by God's grace. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's just go into a word of prayer real quick. Father God, we just love you. We glorify you and we honor you and we thank you for this time. We thank you for waking us up this morning. Father God, we thank you for being with us through the night. Father God, we thank you for what you are doing throughout this airways, Father God. May you continue, Father God, to move throughout the lives of your people. May each and every person that is listening to the sound of my voice, Father God, be blessed by this message and this word and this man of God that is going to be speaking tonight, Lord. That at whatever time that they choose to listen, that they will not only hear your word, Father God, but they would know who you are in their lives through the music and the life of this man of God. We love you. We honor you. We glorify and all that we say, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. Uh, so for those who do not know, Ian Holmes II was born and raised in a family bonded by singing and worship. He started humming tunes as a baby and could already play the piano at the age of two. Wow. At age 15, Ian was determined to pursue music as a career and started singing professionally with no less than his own family members known as the Holmes family. Whether singing with his family or in solo singing engagements, Ian is at home with R&B music for it suits his smooth and soulful voice. Singing pop R&B could could have paved the way to stardom for Ian, for Ian. Instead, he had chosen so to speak to the to walk on the road less traveled. Ian pursued his passion for gospel music with his soulful voice serving as an instrument in conveying God's message of love, faith, and salvation. So without further ado, here is Mr. Ian Holmes. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Ian, it's, it's just an honor and a privilege to have you joining us. Um, know how busy your schedule is. is. Um, so just thank you so much uh, you. for you. taking time out of your day uh, to be with us uh, tonight. And um, wow, at the age of two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what they say. That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm blessed. God is gracious. And again, thank you both, Yoni and Sam, for having me out here on the show today or this evening. Um, yeah, two years old, started playing the piano because um, my mom saw me doing some things prior <laughs> up to that age and decided um, she wanted to put me in front of something that, that, uh, with, for music. And God give, had given her some promises beforehand, prophecies, and told her that she was going to have a son two years after she was married and who the son would be and what, um, what things he would do, uh, both in his... Uh, life growing up and also um, later as he became an adult so my parents were married in 74 and I was born in 76 nice just like God said amen and um, this is also before my mom was married that Lord told her this and before she was even involved with my father who holds the same name or I hold the same name as my father yes. I am yeah so that was such a that, that was such an uh, awesome time even for me I do remember a lot of times people wonder about that. Yes, I remember, you know, my mom pulling out these books that had uh, just scales and arpeggios um, that I would practice just going up and down. So by the time I started taking lessons at about five, six years old, yeah, um, yeah my teacher was a little bit surprised that I already had some basic finger, <laughs> fingering and technique. Wow. So they didn't have to start me from, so to speak, what they call the beginning of that process, but rather... They had me continue that and gave me some other books. And I remember the first book I had from John W. Shaw, <laughs> um, who was a, a local in our area, a local, um, a local uh, instructor and author for music. Uh, I went through that book probably about three or four times because where I was being taught, they had I had different teachers, mm -hmm. and every time a new teacher would come in, they'd say, 
yes, you're going to have to go through that book again. Why? Because I'm the new teacher and I need to make sure you have these basics down. So I, I'll never forget wow. that. So I know those songs by heart to this day Wow! <laughs> because of that. Wow, that's so encouraging. Um, well, you know, Sailor's too, my yes. daughter. Yes. And it uh, makes me want to pull out my piano and just have her play. Yeah. And you yeah. never know what God's going to do yeah. um, through that. And wow, yeah. you are music. I mean, your whole family is just, and that's what I was sharing with uh, your sisters in the previous episodes, that, you know, one thing, you may all worship mm -hmm. together amazing, but individually you worship just as amazing thank you and thank that's you. not very easy to come by usually you, you do it one way or another or mm -hmm. and it's just you you resonate the atmosphere with just god's love and, and then in so many different genres <laughs> like you are more in the pop yes. and of course worship yes let's not forget worship of course yeah but um where your music has been mo with changes and, and how mm -hmm. many cds do you have Oh, I'm just not quite sure. I think it's like seven. Amen. Something like seven or eight right now. Amen. And yeah. it's just an, an amazing, uh, like you said, soulful um, uh, wave of sound that comes that you don't hear all the time. And mm -hmm. that's what I think makes your spirit like nice. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's not just the words. You can literally just listening to the CD. If you just have instrumental, mm -hmm. it would be so soothing. Thank you. Yeah. It's very definitely God ordained. God does things, man. Uh, you know, it's. I'm very grateful, like always, always grateful. I remember that our parents um, told us, like, uh, you know, that, that what we need to do is get first rooted and grounded in the Word. Amen. And that way we won't lose ourselves as time moves forward and goes on wherever we go, um, the people that we associate with here and, um, here and there within our lives. But, and with music, um, it was just very important to also have that. So she and my dad made sure that we understood it's the Word. They taught us that you're... <laughs> they said, you may not say and you may not live with saying, I know mommy and daddy's Jesus. You have to know him for yourself. Mm. And the way you're going to get to know him is you're going to read this word. Amen. Because if you want to know who he is, he reveals himself in here. And he will show himself and demonstrate who he is to you personally, specifically in every area and aspect of your life if you read this word. Praise God. And uh, so we did that, and they would have us memorize it. And then, uh, and uh, you know, God revealed and showed and made himself tangible, if you will, the evidence of him being tangible mm. to us in our lives as now he is my Lord, my, the one who rules and reigns over my life and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't, it's just amazing. It so is. that's what our parents did. And, and uh, you do. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's natural. It's not something that's forced. Um, I've had the uh, privilege... Of knowing you uh, we were trying to backtrack it to a date oh and it's I always pinpointed even with with uh, both Kimberly and Carrie mm -hmm. the day that I met you mm -hmm. that I remember you were on you were on the altar um, dancing you weren't even worshiping <laughs> it was purpose you were with the children <laughs> yeah. and you were doing cartwheels and flips and yes, off were. the off the stage <laughs> and, I that. and I I remember hearing you worship and I had a intense conversation mm. with your mom and we just had just an amazing time and your mom is just amazing i can't yes. wait to have her on the air myself but and we just talked and talked and so much insight and i was like wow i think we calculated it back to well over 10 years Definitely. easy yeah, and because yeah. we met worshiping mm -hmm. i know um i met you obviously we worshiped prior to even church, yes. like in six similar circles yes. and, and yeah. events. And everywhere the homes were, there were soul winners, and there were soul winners, mm -hmm. there was the homes. Yeah. And it, that it was a setup, but it was just yes. always like it was where they were, we were. And by God's grace, it was always in connection. Yeah. And I know God was that connection. Mm -hmm. um, and I just thank God because I remember when, I used to, when we used to worship together, I'm like, wow, I want to worship like that. Yeah. You know, the freeness. Now, obviously, I can't do the instrument. I, that's, I'm not saying I won't <laughs> because right. I believe that I can do all things through Christ. who yes. gives me strength. You need, uh, you need, you need. Amen. Yes. <laughs> that's right. And I truly believe that um, I am going to learn how to play the piano. And But when you were worshiping and you would worship and, and with the piano and just in general, I'm like, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. And, you know, I started with the worship team. We started with the choir. And then we moved 
to the front line of the praise team and yeah. and then God connected us mm -hmm. in the spirit and the mm -hmm. Lord started birthing music because initially you started working with my husband yes on music together yeah, yeah. for upcoming events and you did some stuff together musically and um I was asking God, I'm like, I would love to work with Ian, but I know he's so busy, I don't dare ask. Mm -hmm. And then God told me, ask. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't dare. Yeah. He's, you know, what if he says no? And I said, just ask. I said, yeah. okay. So I, I don't remember the day it was, but I remember asking, you know, if and when mm -hmm. you have some time, I'd love, you know, to work together. And there's this song that I wrote. It's called <laughs> Jesus, I Love You. Yeah. And it was the first song that I had ever written. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Beautiful song. It had no melody, just a tempo, yes. if you will. And I just love how God, like I always say, it's like a hand in a glove. Mm -hmm. Because then you said, absolutely. I actually have some free time. Yes. Right now. Like, let's do it. And yes. you, we just did it. And wow. From there came Refocus. Yes. And the, so many others. Um, and mm -hmm. I just thank God that you have been such a big instrument. Uh, uh, instrumental uh, person in my life, uh, not just through worship, but just in um, in general with your word and and with your faith you. and with your prayers. Um, me and my husband are forever grateful for the family and for you and Thank and you. for believing Thank in you. me and the ability of doing so. Because you saw something in me where you would we would even worship. I remember, <laughs> and you say, "Sing it out." Yes, and I'm like, "No, I'm gonna just crack." Right. Then crack. Just huh. sing it out. Just sing it out, yeah. And, um, wow, you just blessed my life so much. And by grace, mm -hmm. our albums were named the same. Yes. And I, that even, wasn't, no, I had no clue. Yes. And the EP, which Ian is the producer of, um, just did all the, all the music, uh, primarily other than one on the EP. Mm -hmm. And it's just been an amazing, amazing journey that God has kept us on. And we're going yes. to be releasing a new project yes. soon. Yes. Um, but exciting. let's talk a little bit about, about changes. Yes. How did changes birth? Uh, well, <laughs> God birth changes, of course. Yes. But that was through my sister, Kimberly. Mm. And the, the story of it is I recorded a bunch of music. I was not re ready or I hadn't even thought about releasing it. Hmm. Um, they were songs that were demos that I had done, and I really was not interested, actually, in... Believe it or not, I was not really interested in singing solo. Oh. Um, I wanted to be a background singer, play the piano for everybody, artist and this, that, and the other. And God was always saying, I want you to do that, too. Hmm. I also want you to do this. And that was part being up front. So changes came about through uh, my telling Kimberly, no, I don't want anything. I'm not doing anything. Mm. That's all right. And one day I came and she says, hey, look what I did. And she had it all set up, everything, the name, the whole thing, which is interesting. Like you said, we didn't, wow. I, I didn't know that this CD was going to be called Changes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, I wrote that song with Kimberly and uh, I had written it, and it, it, it was a song that had come to me sometime in the in the late 90s. And then um, I started playing around with it, and so didn't record it until t around you know, 2001 or 2 mm -hmm. or something like that. And so, again, that's about five, six, seven years before the album actually comes out. Right. I'm not interested in you doing that, but that's how God did that. And I believe that, like, <laughs> it's so funny, you're telling, saying how, you, you know, I saw something in you. Well, my sister, in my case, saw something in me Amen. that I was not, uh, I didn't even realize or understand that I didn't know. Mm. And she saw that. And through that, I believe that seeing now, looking back, <laughs> that, you know, she really saw that if I would get involved and the, the, the changes would start to take place mm. in, in me, Amen. in my, my confidence in the abilities that God has given me to do what he's told me to do and given me to do, that I can do it wow. you know, through him, yes, because he strengthens me. So yeah, so that's how changes came about. The song itself, you know, um, just talks about, and it's in Ecclesiastes saying there's a time to weep, time to laugh, time to mourn, time to dance, but all through this, no matter what it is that's happening with us, God's going to see us through. He's going to bring us to the point of place of change. Mm. And he's going to be with us all the way through 
the times and changes. Wow. I love it. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. We're going to go into that song, but <laughs> one thing that you said, and it's mm -hmm. amazing, how the faith of others, mm -hmm. and yes. that was a post. Yes. Actually, I posted it yesterday on my Facebook, and I'm yeah. going to quote it. It said, when the faith of others believing in you yeah. becomes your motivator, it can't help. You can't help but believe in yourself. Yes. That's so exactly it, it took it took my husband mm -hmm. to believe in us. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he believed in me. Yeah. Then you and the ability to say, you can do this. Mm -hmm. It just have to believe in yourself. And then Kim Kimberly yes. believing in you and your mom believing. Yes. And it's just an amazing how the power of belief. Yes, the reality of it is also because uh, there are some things personally inside that I had that I didn't believe. Mm -hmm. That I could do, have the ability to do. Myself my sister included. Believed, my sister believed I could do them. And because I, she believed I could do them, part of that was producing. I mm. didn't want to produce. I didn't think I could produce. But because she believed in me, she had me start producing her. Uh -huh. And then when I started producing her, I started building the confidence. Like, wow, because God showed me that I've given this to you to do. So that by the time I got to you, oh, you, you, didn't even, you didn't even know that I didn't have that. Like, no, I just said yes. And I remember that specifically God said, not only to say yes, but we even had that conversation together that it's yes to the completion of what God is saying we're to do in our lives together, wow. not just the project. And we didn't know what that means, and we knew that means what? Generally, when you say yes to that kind of thing, it means a lifetime Amen. because that's how God works out his plans. It's amazing how <laughs> God uses used my husband yeah. to believe in me, Kimberly to believe in you, and then for these projects to come mm -hmm. to life, into fruition, yes. yeah. if you will. So without further ado, <laughs> let us play this song, Changes, that has made such an impact in the lives of those who have heard it. Amen? Amen. We'll be right back. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Welcome back. My name is Uni Lopez, and this is Unified with Christ. And that was Changes mm -hmm. by Ian Holmes the second. <laughs> Praise God. I love that song. We're jamming over here. We're yeah. dancing. Good thing it's not video because <laughs> that would be funny. But this is awesome. Just talking back a little bit as we were off the air. Um, just imagine if we didn't have those people in our lives mm -hmm. that didn't believe in us. Yeah. Changes wouldn't have happened. Yeah. This st radio station would not have happened if it wasn't for faith. Yes. You know, God, yes. my husband, starting this with a microphone mm -hmm. and a Bible <laughs> and birthed it. And now God is doing so much. So, and for so man, many people. And you know? For his kingdom, glory, purpose, advancing the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. I love that song, Changes. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> I love it. And for those who are listening, whether they tuned in late or uh, probably caught the middle of it, um, where can they get the changes CD? Changes on on iTunes. iTunes. So you, get, you can just you can put either in my name Ian Holmes the second, which is the Roman numeral two, or you can uh, go straight to iTunes, put in Ian Holmes the second, but um, and you can put changes and it'll come up. Yeah, and Amen. then you have the choice of purchasing the album or just one song at a time. It's it's about I think ten songs on there. Yes, something like that. Yeah, ten songs. Awesome. Yeah. I I love I love. Yeah. That. And they can also go to ianholmesmusic.com. So, Amen. And it'll, Take you the link will take you straight to there too. Awesome, yeah, Thank man. You. This is such an amazing. Um, the whole album. If you don't have it, you gotta get it. Seriously, you will be dancing, you'll be crying in worship <laughs> unto Him, unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, but how 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 is it? I know for me it's different. Mm -hmm. Everyone's different how they come to writing music. Mm -hmm. But what what's your way of? I know using God's word, but yes. How is your thing yeah. with, with worship? Like, how does it come to the music? Does yeah. the music come first? Do the words come first? Yeah. For me, I have found often, more often, is it's music. I hear sounds and I hear music. And um, sometimes the music that I hear is, again, sounds. I'll hear something like a scratch on a table. Um, oh, wow. You know, I mean, some things are a little bit more obvious, like the windshield wipers are going. Um, or something that will resonate for something that I heard, and I, I hear. I, sometimes I'll hear a piece of music, and I'll not know what it's from, but I'll understand that's that's the kingdoms mm. that came from the kingdom. Um, wow. There's different artists that I hear that uh, you know, whether it be um, sacred, secular, mainstream, or Christian, I'll hear things and I think I hear. Wait, that's a sound, and that's something that God is doing that came from Him that He wants here if you will, your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So I hear when I hear that. So a lot of times it's music. Other times, um, it'll be just words, something poetic will come to me. <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. Um, a lot of times I hear hooks, mm -hmm. you know, something repetitive. Yep. Um, and it's just a hook that'll just keep running through my head. That's some, how I do it. Yeah. Some, what I, I used the chorus to, usually. Yes, exactly. And what I used to do um, when I was not as comfortable in writing, so to speak, I would uh, take the chorus and I would hear this hook and try to write more. Like, okay, I got to have more to this chorus. And I learned that take it easy. Mm -hmm. Like when I say take it easy, I mean like, nah, just take that, take that with ease. You know, you don't have to have it that way. Just sit down with the chorus you have, keep meditating on that, and then you'll find that you know, um, you'll you'll find that God will give you more and what to do. But that's usually how it works. That's awesome. Usually it's the music first. And then, um, then I hear the music and the words. I can hear sounds. And what I'll do also is I'll record myself singing, hum, like just humming or whatever the melody is. Yeah. Yep. You know, with formations so of that's vowel so, sounds. So different. It's interesting. No, I, I may not play an instrument, but mm -hmm. I do get the tempo mm -hmm. melody ish, and yeah. then write the chorus. I generally get the chorus first. Yeah. And then that's usually how it works. It's the chorus. Every once in a while, I'll hear a verse. Um, a friend of mine. Um, came out with an album called Vivo Para Ti, uh, Edgar Rene from Puerto Rico, and he has uh, a bunch of worship tunes that he remade. And I remember hearing the music on one of them before I even heard the words, and the music triggered something inside of me. Mm -hmm. And I and I was like, okay, so I didn't listen to the rest of what he had just at that moment until later, and I just kept replaying that beginning part, the beginning yep. part, and singing that part. And then I took that, and then I would create from that. Yep. <laughs> wow, very similar. Yeah. It's amazing. Great minds think alike. Yeah, yeah. Because it's that's exactly what happens to me. I'll hear something, and then 
um, like like you, it'll even be in church. Mm -hmm. Like it's just oh, yeah. worship is just going yes. crazy, and Wilito is just playing, 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 yes. and it could be a song, yes. like an actual song that he's yes. playing. But I don't know that song because yes. he's just in the worship mode, and I'll grab my phone in the mm -hmm. midst of the worship yes. and just start singing in something. Yes, and. Yes. later get back to it so yes. i get that tempo and then it yeah. gets me going it, it's, for it's later beautiful. and then before you know, you know it becomes a song yeah i love that experience um because that's part of us it's part of our worship but i love I, lo I love that because um because it is a part of our worship and it's something that god gives us a chance to have personal with him mm -hmm. all the time amen you know and it's like man you did that again. Amen. And you do it so much better every, every single time. Oh my time. goodness, it's <laughs> so know? true. It was like, I, I always go back to this, and I, I was sharing this, I think, a little bit with Carrie on the last time we spoke. Mm -hmm. um, when, when I was in church the one day, and the Lord started giving me the focus. Yes. I remember yeah. Pastor Darian at the time, he was giving a word to the youth, and the word with focus was on the big screen, mm -hmm. and that was the topic. <laughs> and I'm just here writing and writing. And I didn't have, even to be honest, I didn't even have a book or paper and pen. It just came to me. Mm -hmm. I took the back of my Bible where it has those little papers that are empty. Yeah. And I was writing, 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 writing. And then that day, mm -hmm. I believe, it was a Sunday, mm -hmm. I believe. And you came running in. The <laughs> yes. Lord gave me a song for you. Yes. And I'm like, really? It was just goes, music. It's just for you. And it's music. Uh, yeah. And I said, really? <laughs> this is awesome. And He's, you know, Ian comes in and you have to understand the enthusiasm <laughs> that he is expressing to us as he's running through the studio. That was hilarious. And it was fantastic. You can't help but get excited. So he comes down and he tells me and my husband, he goes on the piano and he starts playing and playing. And I'm like, wow, this is a beautiful song. This is for me? Mm -hmm. He's like, the Lord told me it's yours. Mm -hmm. And it's such a beautiful song. He's just playing and playing. And all of a sudden, the Lord says, go get the Bible. Yeah. And I'm like, the Bible? <laughs> And I'm like, why would I get the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually talking to God yeah, while you're playing this. Like you're worshiping, right? you're playing. And then I said, go get the Bible. Mm -hmm. right, I'll be right back. Yeah. And I ran and I got my Bible and I started singing the words yeah. of Refocus. And when I tell you yet again, a like a hand goes into a glove, yes. it, there was no changing there was no editing, not making it work. That was amazing. This is God. This is when you know it's God. It's yeah. just perfect because the God that we serve is perfect. We're not perfect, but yes. the God that we serve is. Yes, is. And when I sang it out loud, I sang it to myself first. Uh -huh. And then I said, <laughs> Ian, you got to hear this. And I started singing it. And you were like, I wow. knew it was for you. Yes. I knew it. You said it a lot louder than I did. But <laughs> yeah, for the sake of people's excited. ears, we'll keep it at a low volume. But... It was awesome. The notches were high that day for it me. It was very, very high. And <laughs> that day we wrote, I believe, one of the verses. The second day I wrote the second. Yes. And it's been Sweet. on ever since. And God is just so faithful. I love how God uses you and having the ability to work with you. Um, you and you. aside from me, Thank you. I know that you have um, other artists mm -hmm. that you are working with currently. Yes, and, um, quite a few. <laughs> amen. And, and who would those be? Well, Kimberly Holmes, my sister, Carrie Holmes. Um, I am working with my mom, um, Mama Holmes, Reverend Holmes, as well. Um, uh, but right now, what we're putting out is Kimberly Holmes, another artist named Zuriel Reyes, and uh, let's see, Sharon Ortiz, and I have Amanda Gia Malice. I think that's, uh, of course, Uni Lopez, Amen. like we said, um, and, and myself. Of <laughs> <Yeah>. course. <laughs> Can't forget that. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm coming out with some stuff, too. Um, that's at the moment, I, I think that's everybody on the list that's um, present. Um, I have some other students that I'm working out some other details with, but the ones that are um, we're working on projects and releasing them um, are you, Uni Lopez, Kimberly Holmes, myself, and Carrie Holmes, and Zuriel. Zuriel already has some music out too, so nice. yes, yeah, and you can get that on CD, baby. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Um, just the way that God puts people in our paths yeah. for a specific reason, and not. And not just a season, but just a specific purpose, his purpose, and how it gets done so well. Mm -hmm. Because when God mm -hmm. orchestrates it, it's not forced. Yes. It's not fake. Yes. Yeah. It's just all God. Yep. You know? Um, yeah, it flows. It is. Very well. You know? And this is 
on air as well as off. Mm -hmm. um, just like I said, when the friendship is genuine, when the relationship with God is genuine, it's just natural. Yeah. yeah. It's not something you got to practice. It's yes. not something that you think about. It's just Yeah, so I was having a talk and a conversation with a friend. Took them out for their birthday, and I was just talking about that. And I'm very thankful for both you and Sam because I was telling them, Sometimes in life you have things you have to deal with. Mm -hmm. There's changes. Um, and that God makes that clear. And I was just telling them it's good that I was, in this, in, I was specifically talking about our relationship and uh, the friendship that we have. And I said, I have friends that I was able to just speak with during times when, you know, when I was feeling like I just want to disappear. Mm -hmm. you know? And I said, don't let me do that. Mm -hmm. And they said, don't worry. We're not going to let you exactly. do that. You know? But that's it that's a surfaced explanation of something that goes much deeper and like you said that's not just on air um that's life period on air just happens to catch a piece of it amen <laughs> it is just that yeah a little piece of the puzzle yeah um but like i said you have so much music <laughs> um praise god um one of the songs that we're going to be uh playing next is um amazed yeah and um how did amazed <laughs> come about that's oh, a beautiful song thank you it's of course talking about how god just <laughs> blows our mind uh -huh. uh, blows my mind in particular for me there's times when i write where i'm writing about the stories of others or um, i'm writing about something that took place in my life um, this particular album i that's going to be coming out next um, with, of this song is talking about things that i was presently walking through you know, like uh, just have it actually happening. And God was telling me all along, right, 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 right. And for a while there, I was just like, I wouldn't, mm -hmm. or I would go to write and I'd feel like frustrated. And I, he would just tell me, continue to write, continue, write, write, write. And so I'm glad he has kindness and he's good with us and he has patience. So then as I continued to do that, I was able to work through some of that process of the frustration and get over on the other side of that. Mm -hmm. Amazed is one of those songs that came through from the other side of that frustration. Praise God. And like the verse talks about, I'm, I'm amazed at the kindness that you're showing me right now. I don't understand how you do this. I don't understand how in the world you can do what you do, but you do it every time. And then I love the second verse of it says, I'm astounded that love is the what you want to give wow yeah and it, it just it that's it's amazing <laughs> there's a lot of times when you feel like you want to give up and so the chorus talks about instead of giving up i'm going to throw up my hands and give it up to you amen give you everything instead that's where i'm going to give up amen give it to you so that way you can change me amen and you can take control well i'm sure i'm not one of many that's even listening that you felt that you wanted to give up or throw in the towel but um, God is an amazing God and just as Ian did just as I did in my times of trial um, if you're gonna fall fall on your knees and if you're gonna cry cry out to God mm. and when you're gonna lift up lift up your hands to the heavens and God will speak to you even in your darkest moment he is listening so we'll be right back and i pray that this song amazed will bless you we'll be right back <laughs> Take control. 
constantly showing me that you can. It blows my mind. You keep on reaching to take me as I am. I don't always have to understand this, but I'm certainly glad. Praise God. Welcome back. My name is Uni Lopez, and this is Unified with Christ. We are here with Mr. Ian Holmes II. And if you're just tuning in, that was Amazed by Ian Holmes II. That song is amazing. No <laughs> pun you. intended. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you said that's a new release. Yes. So we got first peak yes. of the song. That's awesome. Yeah. So download this episode so you can hear it again and again <laughs> and again. And again. <laughs> But that's going to be available yes. soon. Yes. And um, do we have a date, ideally, or month? It's going to be in October. Awesome. Um, we're going to probably we're looking at doing possibly a single with that song in advance, so that maybe between now uh, and um, in August or so. so that's, that's some sneak information, yeah. so, sneak peek. So, so be on be, the lookout. Yeah, summertime. Be find Ian on Facebook. <laughs> Um, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and um, <laughs> yes. you can get all that information and be on the lookout for that single, um, Amazed. Yeah. And is that going to be the name of the album? What's the name of the album? The, well, there's several albums. The album that that will be on is uh -huh. called Promise. Promise. Yes, it just talks about the faithfulness of God through <laughs> literally all the changes. The first album I had was Changes. The second album was Destiny. And this is promise because I've been through a lot of different things uh, through life, etc. There were times where I thought, man, maybe this isn't going to happen, or maybe, maybe I'm just doing too much. Maybe mm. I just need to pull back. Maybe all kinds of different things that you know we go through from time to time, literally from time on, moving through time. Uh huh. And I was like, and God says, no, my promises are yes and amen. And amen. So I said, then that's my answer amen. to you. God, yes, and amen. And man, I'm living testimony, literally living the testimony that his promises are yes and amen, and he'll do what he said he'd do. Amen. And God was showing me, and now I need you to express this to others so they can have help to understand that I'm doing it. Amen. That I've already done it, and I will do it again. Amen. Yeah. Wow. It, we, it's amazing. It's, <laughs> this, this is the first time, we're, as long as we've known each other, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Uh -huh. And it's amazing how similar yeah. our testimony is in mm -hmm. that perspective yes. of going through so much. And I know personally, because mm -hmm. we've been on this journey for quite some time. And yes. of course, my husband and, you know, some, somehow people, you know, they want to, when, when are you doing this? When are you doing that? Mm -hmm. And, we're, you know, and then, you know, it's like all that, the verse I got that mm -hmm. the Lord was telling me, even my own flesh, like, Yes. Be still. Yes. Be still. Do not rush this process. It's not yes. your process to be rushed. Yes. It's my process. Yeah. Trust the process. Yes. Yes. So, I, I love that about when God talks about, okay, the vision is for an appointed time, but he says it's going to tarry. So you're like, but when it comes, it won't tarry. So you're like, wait, isn't that confusing? Did no. You, yeah. <laughs> 
did you not just say did, wait okay yeah yeah but th then you read it again and you, you like you said you be still you get still mm -hmm. you know that he is god and then you read it again you realize wait a minute everything he said is in order of the way he said it and it's going to happen just like that so when this vision write this vision down make it plain wow so that when the people who the others see it they can look at it and say okay i can run with this and what we but have it's, yes and what we have to understand is when it says be still and know that i'm god just because we're we're still mm -hmm. doesn't mean that god is still see things are happening in the supernatural that yeah. people don't this is why i say faith is the evidence of things not seen yes. but of hope things that are hoped for yes. so there are things going on right now even as we are speaking mm -hmm. live yeah. there are things going on supernaturally that god is at work in the lives of his people yeah. not just us his children yeah. all of his children that's what makes god amazing he's mm -hmm. doing all these things omnipresent <laughs> just doing everything all at once that's yeah. what makes god amazing yeah and working it out in, 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 in his amazing way you know yeah and sometimes we just have to quiet the voices our own voice included mm -hmm. just say god's got this yeah you know we were just talking about this the other day with the young adults mm -hmm. in our small group we, our last small group uh, last Wednesday you know God you know the Bible te tells us you know the lilies of the valley mm -hmm. the birds don't have to worry about what they're going to eat yeah. yeah you don't have to worry why do we worry God has it our life we are walking in mm -hmm. his story yes our yes. life is already planned out yes if we walk in God's will yeah yeah the way is already planned because yes. he is the way the truth and the life yes. so if we stay in his word stay in his will yes all is going to go according to his plans yes. his purpose for our life yes and is which is also better greater more than we could even think think imagine or, or even try to desire it's just you know you know that i just would say you know but okay i love my husband you know i have to talk about him because when it comes <laughs> to faith and think you know his remarkable faith mm -hmm. gives me faith yeah yeah you know and yeah. it takes that faith i mean the things that he has done and the things that god has done through him yes. and he is still using him without even realizing just even the next step of our life together mm -hmm. in this just god is just so faithful and the amount of faith yeah. you know as much as i see in him mm -hmm. what's so awesome about god what does the word say all yes. we need is faith as small as a mustard yes. seed yes one grain of mustard seed so I don't know if who's listening tonight, if you feel, man, I wish I had their faith. <laughs> they got their life all oh, God's great in their life, but not mine. No, we had that little grain of mustard seed. Yeah. And if you don't know what a mustard seed is, look at a sunflower seed. Mm -hmm. It's smaller than that. Yes. Yeah. So if the, even, more. even smaller. Yes, yes. And yet all it takes is that much faith. For God to move mountains, yes, yes, not to move little tree, a mountain in your life. Yeah. All we need to do is believe, yeah. and that's what this whole episode has been about. Yeah, about belief, yeah. not just believing in one another, yeah, others believing in us, yes. but ultimately, yeah, us believing in God. I love that part when you said that about belief. It's even now it's coming back to mind. Mark nine twenty four, where he's the son has epilepsy oftentimes the father says he throws himself into the fire this is happening to him all the time he said your disciples couldn't heal him what happened and jesus just said to him do you believe hmm. and he said lord i believe help my unbelief i love that story out of all the stories of god yes but i love that story because it says he he knew there was a part of him that didn't believe Yes. But the part that did believe, he said, Lord, help my unbelief. Jesus took that part of him. The humanity. Yes. That we have. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Took that part of him and healed his son. I don't know who's listening tonight and who needed that word. I don't know if you believe. But just as Jesus said, help my unbelief in his word. Let this next song, the Lord our God, be a blessing to you. Like I said, like we have been saying throughout this, 
Believe. All you need to do is believe. All you need to do is have faith as small as a mustard seed and watch what God will do in your life. Amen. Amen. We'll be right back. This is the Lord our God. Amen, amen, amen. My name is Uni Lopez, and this is Unified with Christ. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in tonight. Uh, that was just uh, The Lord Our God by Ian Holmes II. Um, what a beautiful song. Thank you. I wish people could have listened to what we were talking about <laughs> off air because uh, there's just so much going on. It's, it's just amazing how God, good, God is so good. Yeah. Um, how can they get this song, Ian? This is an amazing song again yet. Yeah. Well, this one is going to be on the one of the next projects as well. Yes. This is going to be on the worship project that I'm doing. 
I'm still not sure what I'm going to entitle that, um, but I'm working on it. But uh, this song, The Lord Our God, will be on that worship CD. I have some worship songs that are, if you will, contemporary worship tunes, mm-hmm. if you will, that are original. Amen. Um, so they don't necessarily follow some of the format of today's CCM, mm-hmm. but they do follow a format of, you know, chorus, song, uh, verse, etc. Structure. So that are repetitive, mm-hmm. yeah. So Got I'm excited it. about wow, that. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And, and how did that song come to fruition? Man, I was, <laughs> I was thinking about the kindness of God, man, to us. And it just says, Abba, Father, oh, how you love us. Jesus, Jesus, you know, you are closer than a brother. Holy Spirit, you bring us to redemption. Because the Word of God tells us that the Holy Spirit prays the will of the Father. Well, the will of the Father is to be reconciled with his children. And how did he do that? He sent his son, Jesus Christ. And so there's this constant cycle happening mm-hmm. of God always just doing all that he does to always what? Bring us back to him. And then once we come to him, to always bring us back to him Amen. closer. And then, then when we do that, to always keep us with him, you know? And so, yeah, so that's what that song was birthed from, of just like, wow, God, you you do that. He just, He's doing it with me. You know, and I see that, like, wow, you just, you worked out details in my life that, that only he just, could there was there it w- there were impossible details mm-hmm. you turned it into something that was not only possible but you made it even better than what i what i could what what i, what I was even praying for hmm. what i what, what i was hoping you would do you did better than that amen you know that's what the word of god says <laughs> yeah ephesians 3 20 yes. 21 because greater things that he can do than we yes. can ever think or even imagine yes yes it's not even that's what's so amazing about the god that we serve yes i mean Whatever you think, as good as it could be, mm-hmm. God will do better. Yeah. All we have to do is believe. Yeah. That's all we have to do. <laughs> um, that's what's fantastic about the God that we serve. And uh, yes, we is. just pray that this has show has been a blessing to you. If it has, please let us know. You know, you can reach out to me on my uh, Facebook page, of course, Unified with Christ with Uni Lopez. Email me, please email me mm-hmm. at unilopez at soulwinners with a Z dot O-R-G. That's U-N-I-L-O-P-E-Z at S-O-U-L-W-I-N-N-E-R-Z dot O-R-G. Um, let me know so I can let Ian know about what this message and this time has meant to you. Uh, join Ian on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and any other social media. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is Google his name. Uh, I love when my husband tells me that. You just put your name in Google and you'll get everywhere. You'll get SoundCloud. You'll get everything <laughs> that you can get um, either um, Ian Holmes or myself, Uni Lopez, where we can be able to see that what we're doing is a being a blessing in your life. Um, but but Ian, you have, like I said, I'm not going to stop saying it. <laughs> you have been such a blessing to the body of Christ in general. Thank you. You know, all my life that I've known you. And all the time, then I've not just known you, you know, your whole family, you know, the, the, the re- amount of love and respect that I see mm-hmm. and feel is not normal. It's um, supernatural. Like, it's just amazing how God can use each and every one of you in such an intricate way. And you've all been such a blessing in our ministry in one way or another. And that's why I truly believe that. We're family, mm-hmm. spiritually. We may have met yes. through music, <laughs> but it was ultimately through God that had yeah. brought and fused our relationship uh, to bring it to that next level, uh, which I'm sure is the level that He wanted, yeah. which is to bring Him glory. Yeah. And what other way to do that but through music? Mm-hmm. And I think it's such a wonderful outlet um, to be able to express how we feel, what we feel through music. Yeah. Because you know, music today is taking over uh, the airwaves and I love how you and I believe Carrie said it it's sacred mm-hmm. or secular yeah. I love that I never heard that terminology <laughs> until yeah. one of you said it and you said it again today and I, I love that term yeah. um, but there's a song that I have to play before yeah. we end this broadcast mm-hmm. um, it's called Adoral ah yes and that song oh, is yeah. amazing so it's in Spanish yes so we're going to play that song before yes. uh, we go to our last break. Yes. Um, but can you explain that song a little bit for yeah. those that don't understand Spanish? Yeah. Adorar was my first song in Spanish. And because God had given me Psalm 91 for my life, 
I knew that if I'm going to release a song the first time on any airwaves, but specifically the Spanish airwaves, where he said he had promised me that he was going to do things with me in the Latin market first. Amen. And he's been doing that big time. And I wanted, I said, well then, I want my first thing to be adoration to you, of you, because of you, who you are, based off of your word. So the first verse, or the verses, are Psalm 91, verse 1, and it says, Adorar, and it says, this is where I want my life to be, I want to live there. The way the word Adorar is posed in Spanish, it is where you live, the place that you stay, where you, in, where you abide. And in Psalm 91, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that's what I want for my life. Amen. And I want other people to have the opportunity to have that as well. And like you said, through music, when they start worshiping and they hear something, it triggers something, that part of them that says, that's always crying out, as you said earlier, Amen. crying out to God. Amen. So this next song is called Adoral. It may be in Spanish, but if you listen to it in spirit, it will bless your heart. We'll be right back. que habita al abrigo del Altísimo morará bajo la sombra del Omnipotente aquí quiero Praise God. Amen. My name is Uni Lopez, and this is Unified with Christ, and that was Adoral by Ian Holmes II. 
such a beautiful, beautiful song. And we were talking about the beginning of the song. Yes. You explained the, the song. Yes. But you, the beginning of the song goes, Timo, Timo, Timo. Yes. And we were talking. And yes. what does that mean? Timo, the name Timothy, uh, Timo means to honor God. So, wow, there's a declaration that you're honoring God to yes. honor, 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 yes. honor. It's just amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. So you don't need to know the language. <laughs> you know, it's just a beautiful song. Um, and I just thank you, Ian, for being um, not just a guest on my show, on our show, but uh, just being who you are. Thank you. Genuine, authentic, thank faithful, you. dedicated. Thank um, you. All of the many things that God has used you and will continue to use. Um, I wish we had more time. <laughs> Unfortunately, time betrays us. But again, Ian is doing so many things with so many different artists. And uh, you are uh, currently touring with Camila. Yes, Camila, the Mexican pop group with Sony Music. Amen. So follow Ian on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, um, everywhere. Reverb Nation, get all the inside scoop and be on the lookout for Amazed as it's going to be a release that's going to be coming out soon. Yeah. Um, again, thank you so much, thank Ian. Thank you for having you me. Are blessed, you are blessed to be a blessing. <laughs> thank you. Um, is there anything else you want to share with anyone? Nah, I just love you and thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you, Sam, for having me as well. Thank you to my family, of course, and uh, um, bless you know the people that are hearing and you know that they would not only be encouraged but be able to live lives the way that they they should be able to live them. Amen. The God would have them to be. Amen. So Father God, we love you. We glorify you. We give you all that we have, Amen. Father God. Not not just monetarily, Lord, but every fiber of our being is all for you, Father God. We thank you for this time that you have given us. We pray that each and every person that has tuned in, Lord, at whatever time or whatever day, we thank you for technology, for mm -hmm. the ability to be able to hear this at a later day. Father God, that what, at whatever moment that you choose them to hear, that their lives may be blessed, not just by the words, oh God, not just by the music, but by you, Father God, that they would want to know the God that we serve. Father God, and that they can do just what we did so many years ago and just cry out to you to come into their life, Father God, just as you come into our lives and that their life may be a testimony as ours is a testimony for all to see and hear. We love you. We glorify you in all that we say and in all that we do. And may your will be done in everything that we do in Jesus name. So join us next week as we have Mama Holmes. Until then, stay blessed and always stay focused on Christ. God bless. You need